Hello guys and welcome to Ride VIP The Rider Channel. My name is Serge and in today's video I want to give you guys an update how much money I've been making for the last three weeks uh, driving just for Lyft in my 2005 uh, Chrysler 300 um, and I'm going to tell you what kind of bonuses do I have going on right now and uh, what I think about the whole uh, earnings situation as a whole. Um, driving for Lyft, I don't know about Uber at this point because I haven't done anything for them. Maybe this is something you could share with us here in the comment section. So let's begin. So first of all, we're gonna begin with the ride challenge that's available for this uh, Friday and, um, you know, Friday through basically Monday morning, 5 a.m. Uh, today, it being a, a Thursday, Thursday morning, out of all things. Um, <clears throat> so the challenge is $400. So in order to get uh, $400, you would need to complete 70 trips and you're gonna make $160 and then you're gonna need to complete additional 40 trips to get an additional $240. Uh, dollars. So that's about like what, like 150 trips or so in three days, a little bit challenging. Not sure if it's doable, but in a sense it kinda is. Um, let's see, well that's 110 trips. Uh, what I was thinking was 115. So normally, normally, you could technically complete uh, three trips per hour, so if there's no time wasted, three trips per hour would equate to 12 hour uh, work period uh, and 36 trips for that day. So yes, if you work three days in a row at 36, uh, a, you know, 36 trips a day, uh, you would get uh, something around like 108, something like that, like uh, trips uh, altogether. So, if you do this actually a little bit differently, um, you could sort of, like with this, applying a different strategy, which I will share, the one I'm thinking about applying. Um, I thought about this one time ago, if I ever am faced with um, having to complete a, a, almost an impossible challenge, a right challenge, if I ever get one again, how I would go about it. So, I'm gonna share it with you guys. So, how you could get like sort of like an extra work day out of it. You're gonna have to work very carefully. So for me, I gotta commute, so I gotta take that into account. So for you, if you're not commuting, it's even easier. So basically, you would wanna start uh, working Friday morning. You're starting exactly at five. Uh, so when you start exactly at five, you're sort of like saving all of that time, you know? And you're maximizing the number of rides that you're gonna be getting. So what you wanna do is, um, Complete your 12-hour workday with barely wasting any time. Like I'm talking about, you would have to think ahead of time, get your energy drinks in, in your car, uh, put yourself some coffee, get yourself like some uh, food that's prepared, some snacks, because this bonus is kind of worth like 400 bucks, and I'm gonna have to prepare myself. So tomorrow. I'm gonna have to, you know, go, you know, stop by the store and, you know, pick up some stuff. Um, anyways, so here's kind of like what I'm thinking. You start at five, and you work all the way till five p.m. Okay, you then take a six-hour break, and for me, it's gonna be even challenging because now I have to commute home. Like, you take a six-hour break, and when you do, um, come back in that six hours. Uh, well, whatever you end up plugging off. So I think, I think. Uh, a 12 hour day with fueling up and you know taking some bathroom breaks and maybe occasional something else um 12 hour day will still churn for you at 13 hours uh maybe 12 you know maybe like 12 hours and 30 minutes you know uh, and plus <clears throat> the type of food you would have to have it's probably gonna be like high quality food because uh <laughs> if you're eating sort of like on the go so you don't waste your time Plus, it's gonna stink up your car, so you have to kind of think about that. But if you have to actually stop and eat, regardless, I don't care if you got your food, you know food from home or whatever, or if you're stopping like at a fast food restaurant, probably will take about the same amount of time. But anyways, 30 minutes to an hour could easily be wasted, so you have to take that into account. But with that being said, come back in six hours, do another 12 hours, and uh, take a break. Do another uh, 12 hours, take a break, and then another 12 hours. So you could literally squeeze in three of those days. So, so now it becomes possible to do right around 140 trips. Uh, so with that being said, um, 
if you're a platinum driver, and I am platinum, I'm just very shy of uh, being an elite driver. I already came back and I've been hustling like crazy for the last three weeks. I do want to share uh, those details with you, so I did not forget. Um, but anyways, if you're a platinum driver, you have four um, options that you map to set a location, four of them. And what that allows you to do is stay within an area. So what I like to do is I pick an area that's really busy, uh, like Charlotte downtown, for instance, where everything is going on. And I just basically would just put a five mile radius around the city. At most, you're gonna do like a 10 mile trip. Occasionally it messes up, it'll give you a longer trip. So you'll need to sort of like, I don't know, see if that's worth it for you, take it. But if it's not, don't take it, okay? Speaking about trips, trips have been paying at bare minimum, like about a dollar a mile, like at, at bare minimum. So by, by the way, I gotta take a picture of my dash because I keep track of the miles and I just left uh, for you guys. So it's a good idea. Just take a picture of your miles prior to your leaving um, and end your work trip, work day. When you end it, take it again so you can keep track of the miles, how much miles you have to show. So I actually do that, so I did not want to forget. Anyways, let's go to the income that I made uh, for this this week, and then I'll tell you last week, and um, I will do some math. I'm, I'm using the phones right now, so I'm recording on Samsung, and I will just share what's really going on. <coughs> so currently, Currently, I have made nine hundred forty-three dollars and ninety cents in the last three days. So today's a today's a Thursday. Um, I still have a bonus that I could complete today, which is a ninety-dollar bonus. I just need additional seventeen trips uh, in order to get that. So, so I'm looking um, <clears throat> at income anywhere from three hundred to three hundred ninety dollar day today. That's reasonably speaking. So, why am I saying three hundred to three hundred ninety? Well, ninety is a given because uh, I will complete it, that's 17 extra trips. Now, this is a Thursday, which is actually a better day out of the whole week, but I'll tell you what, Monday's been really good, Tuesday's been really good, Wednesday's been really good. I can't complain, like everything's been really working out, but I am really, really hustling this week, guys, so you might wanna subscribe and keep an eye on what I'm doing. Sorry, I don't post as often, I am thinking about doing that now, but I have a lot on my plate, and since I've been back, I just been hustling and making money and having a really great time and I want to share with you guys how much money I'm making so that you can do the same thing, maybe copy me, maybe you're doing better than me. You know, I, I have 2005 cars, so this is uh, economy, economy, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let me set cruise control. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the weekly breakdown. Okay, okay, um, all right, so this week, April 15, April 21, 943.90 in three days. That's Monday through Wednesday. So today's Thursday. I will work the rest of the week. So this week is going to be interesting. I will definitely make over $2,000 for the whole week, seven days. We'll see how much I make. Um, I mean, let's see, let's see like what's possible. I mean, if I get that $400 bonus, because this is happening this week, so I, I get, I'm getting... I already got a 75 bonus, that's the first part of the bonus, and 90 I'm working on right now for the Thursday, I will get that, and that's already 175 plus 400 if, I, if I'm able to get it, but if I don't get it, the first part of the bonus is just 70 trips, it's 160 bucks, so at least that's guaranteed, so I could sort of count on that, uh, but anyways, with that being said, so Monday through uh, Sunday, I mean, if I strategize, and I'm able to squeeze in as much time, like four days out of those three days. I mean, that's a long shot. But if I do that, that is 300 every 12 hours. That's basically guaranteed. And on top of that, you're gonna have bonuses. Uh, so that for those three days, uh, if I just count $300 for the three days, not, not an extra day that I thought about making, because if I do that, that's an additional 300 bucks. But anyways. So that's like 900 plus 400, that's 1200. So uh, 1200 for the Friday through Sunday. It will be 1200 if I do things normally. That is, 
you know, still completing the challenge, you just normally work three days. It could be an additional 300 on top of that if I somehow squeeze it another day, like what, what I explained. I mean, in, in theory, that should work. I mean, now I've really got to do it just because, uh, you know, there's just so many trips I got to complete. So technically, I could make it 1,500 bucks in those three days. I know, seems, uh, seems kind of like a long shot, and maybe it is. We'll see. Uh, I will do my best. Definitely keep an eye on what I'm going to do. But this Monday through Thursday is still not over. So today I'm thinking about making $400. So right now it's $943.90 type of week. I know I could add $300 to $390 to that because the weeks has been actually good. Probably because the summer started well. It's still spring, spring break. You know, a lot of a lot of people back, and summer's getting ready to get busy as well. So, so anyways, that's gonna be roughly, roughly, um, let's just say one thousand three hundred plus one thousand uh, plus plus one thousand five hundred, two thousand eight hundred dollar week. Is that even possible? Can I make two thousand eight hundred dollars in a single week? That would be crazy, okay? All right. Okay, man, uh, that's, a, that's a lot of uh, explanation. But anyways, let's go to the last week, and I'll tell you what I did last week and the week before that, and I'm going to share with you additional information about what am I using as my strategy. That may surprise you. But anyways, last week, April 8th through April 14th, I made $1,930, okay? Last week, technically, it was nothing special. Um, but anyway, week is over. Uh, I still made pretty good for that week. And, uh, oh yeah, meaning that it's nothing special, this also may, may surprise you. I worked one day in 18 hours and 40 minutes. That's what it says. I guess 38, let's just say 39 hours. That's a really good week. I really did well last week. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. The week before that, I made 795. Uh, all I did was I just worked the three days at the end of the week. That's all I did. Um, I worked exactly 24 hours to make that. That's all I did. So, so I just worked, like, I guess, like two days straight. That, that's all. And I made that. That made me realize that's like almost eight hundred dollars in two days, so that's pretty good. Oh yeah, I did seventy-seven rides at that time, so I could see it's definitely possible. I've been strategizing how to squeeze it in, so I'm sure there was some kind of bonus going on with that. So I did hit the bonus. So just saying, um, that's why it looks as good as it looks. Um, okay, now uh, I do want to actually do some math here. Uh, 943 let's just say 944 um 31 hours so let's just say that's 32 hours 943 943 divided by 32 hours so that's three weeks ago so three weeks ago i was making 29 dollars and 46 cents an hour not bad for economy class definitely can can't can't get this working for somebody you already know i tried Okay, so next. Oh, uh, I made a mistake. That is for this week, what I just now calculated because I hit something and it actually calculated. So this is the last three days. So that's what that is. So the last three days has been $29 an hour. We'll see if we, we could keep that going. Okay, last week, let's, because I was like surprised, like why is the hours not matching up? Okay, 1,930 divided by... Why, why can't I count right now? One day and 18 hours. So that is 24 plus 18. That is 37. 37 hours. Did I get this right? Yeah, I think it's like 37 hours. Okay. 1,930. 1,930 divided by 37 hours. I did get bonuses, which I did complete last week too. <clears throat> so I actually made $52 an hour last week. Yeah, that was by far the best week I've ever had. So that's very interesting, $52. Okay, 
the well, fifty-two thousand dollars. So, and then let's go to the uh, week, three weeks past that. Seven hundred ninety-five divided by one day and thirty-two minutes. So, seven ninety-five divided by basically, I'll just do twenty-five. That's thirty-one dollars and eighty cents an hour. So overall, I guess <clears throat> the first week. $31, $31.80 an hour, you know, the second, um, slightly over $50 an hour, and then the third, so far, it's uh, $29 an hour, but it will actually go up because I haven't completed this part of the challenge that I have, and I still haven't finished, uh, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's upcoming. This is gonna be interesting. Um, if I do things just right, even though I'm commuting one hour to work, one hour from work, this might be the strongest week yet uh, out of all the weeks that I have worked. Yeah, this this might turn out to be pretty good for me. Uh, we will we will see. <coughs> so now I'm gonna see. <coughs> let's let's see if it's even possible to squeeze in four days. Now now that's what I'm gonna look at. Four days out of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let's see if it's possible. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start at 5 a.m. Right. We're gonna work 12 hours, so I'm just gonna put 12 hours. Then I'm gonna put plus six hour break, plus working 12 hours, plus six hour break, plus working 12 hours, plus six hour break, plus working 12 hours. So we got 66 hours exactly. So we divide it by 24 and we get 2.75, not quite uh, four days. just did okay uh, this this doesn't this doesn't make any sense what I, what I just did so what I was trying to find out is the total amount of hours that I would work and and oh yeah so how many days would be required to do that okay less than three days okay uh, everything is good so I did the math correctly sometimes I forget like what the heck I'm doing <clears throat> so basically I was gonna see if it's possible to squeeze uh, that time in and yes, it is possible because it's gonna take less than three days for me to make four working days out of it, which is 12 hours of work day, rest six hours, okay? With that being said, there is a little window left over for my commuting and stuff. And because I am commuting and things of that nature, this will pose a challenge um, for me uh, at the very least, because if I'm commuting like one hour here and there, I'm losing those hours, so I, I could lose like eight hours out of it. So if I would have added that in, that would be almost impossible for me to do that just because of the commuting. So if you don't have to do commuting, good for you, you know, you could really, really maximize. So maybe that's why like, yeah, Charlotte might be more expensive a city, but if you hustle like crazy, you're saving time just on commuting alone. If I work seven days a week, I'm commuting 14 hours out of the whole week. 14 hours. So, <clears throat> 14 hours times by four per month, that's 56 hours just in commuting. If I times that at $30 an hour, that is $1,680. That's right, guys. So, all of this commuting that I'm doing, oh yeah, that's potential income, rent, but then expenses how much is it costing me uh, to commute so if I had that expense of fuel into it because it ain't cheap that number's gonna go up because I'm spending more money but but yeah like I guess if I lived in Sheridan and just hustled like that would be the case <clears throat> the only reason I won't do that because I just don't like the uh, the modern slavery of having to work all the time I like to choose when I work I like to be able to like strategize uh, and work the proper amount of time to make the proper type of income or if it's not working out just go home you know simple as that uh, count on a better day next day but anyways guys with that being said thank you so much for watching take care of yourself and I hope you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video I will be updating you guys on my progress as we're going along just so that you will know what's going on and what I will end up doing since I just recorded this video today, I will uh, screenshot the current the current income that I've made. 
943 for the last three days and I'll just use that in the video and you can see as my income grows. So 943, this video is gonna go live at some point today, once I upload it, which is a Thursday. Uh, and then I will wait until I have the next, you know, next uh, 24 hours and, and we'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen. But anyways guys, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.